anybody who's familiar with my channel knows that the lower the spot price is, to me, the better because that means I can get even more money for my currency. The question is, will the spot price continue to fall? What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about $23 silver and will the spot price continue to fall lower but really quick just in case you're new make sure to subscribe for daily videos also subscribe to my second channel which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content brand new video over there go check it out the link will be in the description and if you want to help support the channel by getting some DYDSS merchandise of course we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies which are up for grabs along with a ton of other products many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations such as the recently released Kraken stack and design as well as the limited edition Halloween tee available in three different colors any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But today I wanted to talk about the spot price of silver because spot price hasn't really moved all that much. As I am recording today's video, the current spot price is $23 and change. That goes for silver. Now when it comes to gold, spot price is about $18.70 give or take maybe a couple dollars by the time I'm editing this video. Point being, both precious metals are down. However, they are not down in comparison to where they were yesterday when both metals dropped. If you watched yesterday's video, you'll know that I talked about how oftentimes, not always, but typically, the markets follow the same trends. They're vastly different. One goes up, the other one might not go up, but a lot of the time, typically it will begin to follow maybe a day or a couple days late. And that's what we saw. I talked about earlier in the week, the stock market dropped. The S&P 500 was down one point something percent. Many of the individual stocks, blue chip companies and whatnot were down between one and 5%. I talked about how the day after stock market was down even more. This was yesterday's video. I talked about how the S&P 500 was down, I believe, 4.3%, and all the other individual stocks were down between 4 and 5%, I believe it was. And now here we are the next day. S&P 500 is now down 4.7% from where it was this time last week. And all of those individual stocks, for the most part at least, are now down between 4 and 7%. So they're coming down. They're on sale. They're discounted right now. I'm not too big into stocks, but for those of you who are, something to think about. But when it comes to the precious metals, we saw the stock market drop a little bit, but we didn't see precious metals really budge much at all. Silver was still in the $24 range. Gold was still just above the $1,900 range. And then boom, yesterday, both metals came down. We saw silver drop about a dollar, which I know is not very significant, but when it comes to silver, you could argue that it kind of is. One dollar up or down for silver could be a big deal. Because the spot price is so low. At $24, going down one dollar brings it down to 23. That's a little bit of a ding. And the same could be said about gold, which dropped about $30. $30 for gold, not that big of a deal. But it's definitely something to talk about. It's definitely interesting. So moving forward... Away from today, I think we really have to keep our eyes peeled tomorrow, aka Friday, through Tuesday. Friday, we're going to see some more information come out before the markets close. Monday, I have a very strong feeling we're going to see the numbers drop even further. And then Tuesday, you should all know what's going to be happening on Tuesday. Presidential election. This only happens once every four years. And the peak of uncertainty is one week before election day. We are within that window. We are five days away from election day. The markets are experiencing massive uncertainty. We see all of these stocks. We see the general state of the economy. We see everyone and everything unbelievably hesitant right now, unbelievably standoffish, unbelievably anxious and nervous, not knowing what in the world the results are going to be. And as I've been saying for these last couple of weeks, it is not just an election. The election is just one piece of the puzzle. 
for everything we have going on right now. We have stimulus updates, hopefully coming soon. We have vaccine updates, hopefully coming soon. We have shutdown updates, hopefully not coming soon. I know a lot of other countries are shutting back down. Hopefully that is not the case. We have a lot of information coming soon. One could argue that there's a lot being withheld from us. I would say that's probably true, but who knows? But point being is we're about to learn a lot. And I don't think we're going to find out on Tuesday the result of the election. Something tells me we're not going to find out on election day. Something tells me we're probably not even going to find out the day after election day. Something tells me this is going to take some time. Something tells me it might be a little while before we truly know the answer. One of the many answers. Point being is there is a lot of uncertainty. Everything that I just talked about over the course of the last six minutes was explaining how nervous and uncertain everyone and everything is right now. This is the time that a lot of people gravitate towards the silver and the gold. I know this might sound weird coming from the Precious Metal channel, but it's actually the truth. A lot of people gravitate towards the precious metals. Yes, you could say that I might be a bit biased because I am very much into the precious metals, but the reason I got into the precious metals is because I stayed objective and I focused on the facts and I completely ignored emotions. I stick to logic. Logic told me that the silver and the gold made the most sense, especially during times of economic uncertainty. Because guess what? We don't know what's going to happen to the dollar. We don't know what's going to happen to our job. We don't know what's going to happen to this or to that or to or to him or to her. We don't know who, who, who the winner of the election is going to be. We don't know if this place is going to open back up or that place is going to shut back down. We don't know if we're going to see another wave of, of, of sickness. We don't know if this is going to happen or who knows. Maybe three or four days will go by and everything is going to be magical, wonderful fairyland. We have absolutely no idea. But regardless of what happens... Regardless of how good things get or how bad things get, we know for an absolute fact that the silver and the gold is there for us. Now, full disclosure, I am not a precious metal salesman. I don't benefit in any way, shape, or form if you go to any coin shop or online precious metal dealer and pick yourself up some silver and gold. They do not give me a check. They do not send me any free silver or gold. They don't give me a pat on the back. They don't even know I exist. That's not why I'm making today's video. I'm making today's video... Because I truly believe the silver and the gold should be viewed as financial preparation. That's why I got started stacking. There's a lot of people who think there's going to be a complete and total collapse of the dollar bill in the near future. Personally, I do not believe that to be true. I could be wrong. I don't know. I'm not a psychic, nor am I a financial advisor, so don't take this as financial advice. But the point I'm trying to get across is a lot of people view the silver and the gold, myself included, as means of prepping financially, economically. See, the silver and the gold, it's a hedge against inflation. It's wealth preservation for the long term. It's a way of saving your money in a way that, to me, makes sense. To a lot of people, makes sense. I mean, there are about 12,000 people who, who are subscribed to this channel. I don't think they would be subscribed if that didn't make sense to them. A lot of people gravitate towards the silver and the gold. And it's not just people from a stacking perspective. Yes, we are stacking, or at least most of us, we are stacking for wealth preservation for the long term. We are far more involved in the silver and the gold, the coins, the rounds, and the bars than anything else. We're probably way more into the precious metals than we are the stock market or real estate or this or that or this or that. We're very, very, very involved with the precious metals. A lot of other people get involved in precious metals without prioritizing it strictly because they know, according to history, Historically speaking, the silver and the gold has preserved wealth for the long term and has acted as a hedge against inflation. 
there are people who couldn't even really care less about the silver and the gold, but still choose to put their dollars into it just because they know it'll keep them financially protected. So with the spot price of silver dropping down about a dollar, trust me, I know that the spot price is still high up there. $23. Many of us are still used to $16, $17 silver, or at least maybe we are psychologically used to it. We still haven't really gotten used to the new normal of silver being above $20. I'll be honest, I'm not that big of a fan. Anybody who's familiar with my channel knows that the lower the spot price is, to me, the better because that means I can get even more money for my currency. So with the spot price being $23 today, when just two days ago it was $24, the question is, what will Friday bring us? What will this weekend bring us? What will Monday and especially Tuesday bring us? Will the spot price continue to fall? That's what a lot of us are wondering right now. That's what I'm wondering. That's what you might be wondering. I believe that will probably happen. I could be wrong. I don't know for sure. Don't wait it out. And then, you know, come yelling at me if the spot price goes up. I think it might go down. I think it's likely to go down for the short term. Over the next couple of days, next couple of weeks, something tells me that the spot price is going to be dropping. I don't know for sure. I'm not a psychic. I don't have a crystal ball. I don't know that to be a fact, but something tells me spot price is going down. And guess what? If we see the numbers fall, I don't believe they're going to be falling like they did in March because they didn't fall in March. They tanked in March. Silver practically got sliced in half. Even gold came down a couple hundred dollars. I don't believe we're going to see a March 2020 2.0. Technically, we could. I don't know for a fact that it won't happen, but I don't believe that's going to be the case. I think it'll go down a couple more dollars. I find it hard to believe silver will go down below $20, but I think it's absolutely possible for silver to go down another dollar, two dollars, maybe three dollars. We might see $20 silver again as early as the next couple of days or the next week. It could happen. And that's what I'm hoping for. I'm not waiting for it to happen, but I'm hoping for it to happen. And a lot of people will ask me, is now the time to, to buy or to hold? Not many people ask me if it's time to sell. I'm pretty sure everybody's on the same page. Now is probably the worst time to do that, in my opinion. But when it comes to buy or hold, for me personally, I'm trying to intertwine the two right now. I don't really see it as a buy or a purchase because I don't really feel like I'm buying anything. It's just for me, it's just a conversion. So what I like to do and what I'm planning on doing over these next couple of days is converting little by little on the way down. I believe spot price will fall. I don't know for sure, but I believe that it will. So I plan on converting my dollars, the same 75 I use for all my videos. I plan on converting my dollar bills into the silver and also some gold, which I don't have on me at the moment, but I plan on converting on the way down. Because guess what? If spot price out of nowhere begins to take off upward direction, I won't be mad at myself saying, oh man, I, I, I sat around waiting for something to happen, didn't happen, did the opposite, and now I missed out. I, I wouldn't have missed out on anything because I was converting on the way down or at least hoping for it to go down and then it went up. Guess what? I was still productive because I still picked up some silver and gold during that time frame when a lot of other people might have been sitting around saying that they're not going to do anything until spot price hits $18, $17, $16 again because fact of the matter is, that's not guaranteed, that's not promised, that's not a sure thing, that might never ever happen again. We might never in our lives see silver in the teens ever again. I hope that we do, but I've made peace with the fact that it might not happen. So I'm taking the adapt and overcome approach. I've taken a little bit of a step back. I'm still trying to be as consistent as I've been. 
these last couple of years, but with everything going on right now, I make sure to have a little bit extra cash on standby in case we see the numbers begin to fall. Because that's going to be the time that I'm going to attack the precious metals. And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms, not on YouTube's terms, my terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller, easier to manage. I'm also doing giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a bunch of different websites. And of course, you can watch all of the YouTube videos commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP Club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please, Hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe. New videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 2,000 subscribers. We just hit 1,500, and I appreciate that. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stacken t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver Kraken coin, which by the way, is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you. It comes out of my pocket, not yours. And of course, the limited edition DYDSS Halloween tea available in orange, gray, and purple. Only available this month, aka just another couple of days. So get one while you can. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know. What do you think all of this economic uncertainty is going to do to silver in the short term? I think many of us know or understand the long term. But what do you think the next couple of days, the next week or so, is going to do to the spot price of the silver and the gold? Do you think we're going to see the numbers continue to fall? Do you think we're going to see 22 21 maybe $20 silver? Maybe even silver go below $20. Do you think gold is going to drop another $10, $20, $30, $40, $50, maybe $100? Do you think we're going to see gold in the $1,700 range? Do you think that it's possible? Do you think that it's likely? And do you plan on converting your dollars into silver over the next couple of days or over the next week? Do you think that right now could potentially be a massive opportunity? Or are you standoffish, taking a step away from the precious metals? Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.